She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Hey guys, it's Cheryl. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to make a quick tutorial on how I make my own Instagram filter since a lot of you guys are asking for that. So, hindi ko kinaklaim dito na expert ako. Sinashare ko lang sa inyo kung paano ko ginagawa yung filter sa paraan alam ko. And first, you need to download this software which is ilalagay ko na lang yung link niya sa description box down below. Click niyo na lang siya para recta download na kayo. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, first, open na natin yung in-install natin Spark AR. Yan, loading lang. So, guys, once you open Spark AR Studio, makikita nyo na yung templates. Free na siya. As in, magagamit mo na siya. Pwede, pwede mo na siyang i-customize. Pero, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-start in a blank space. So, click this Ayan. new project. Ayan. And, yan. May Ayan. mga nakalagay na plane tracking, target tracking, face tracking. Dito tayo mag-start sa blank project. So, click that. So, once na na-open natin yung Spark AR, Ayan siya. So, ayan. May simulation na ako dito. Ayan. So, gamitin natin ito. Once na na-open mo yung Spark AR, add object tayo, which is mag-add tayo ng face tracker para matrack yung face natin. So, right click. yung Right click natin yung face tracker. Add face mesh. So, pag nilagay nyo na yung face mesh, rename natin siya as retouch. Yun yung una natin gagamitin kasi para mag-smooth yung skin natin. So, add materials. Rename ulit natin siya na retouch para hindi tayo malito sa mga files niya. Click the shader type standard to retouching. So, dito, magiging smooth yung skin nyo. Ayan, kita nyo naman, magiging smooth siya. So, prefer natin is 55. So, add na tayo ng blush on. Ayan. Right click the face tracker. Add another face mesh. And, rename natin siya ng blush on. Para matanda natin yung part na yan. And add materials. Rename lang natin ulit sila. Blush. On. And then, click the shader type. Standard to face paint. Then, add a new texture. Yung ginawa natin, which is yung blush. Hit natin yung opacity. Yan, kung, kung gusto nyo yung pinakamakula or yung light lang. So, prefer ko is 36. And then, right click again on the face tracker and add another face mesh, which is yung lips. Lagay natin lip. Add material and create a new material. Rename it as lip. And then, click yung shader type as face paint. Again. Tapos, click lang ulit natin yung new texture and lips. So, sa lips, guys, pwede natin kapalan or ilight lang. Since, manipis lang yung ginawa kong lip tint or lipstick, 100% lang natin. So, yun lang, guys. Ganun lang ka-basic mga ng filter. So, quick tutorial lang muna tayo. And, test na natin siya sa device. So, send natin sa Instagram. Send lang natin siya. Ayan, mabilis lang din naman. Makikita nyo na siya sa notification ng Instagram. So, 
So, yun na guys, nasend na. So, check natin. Babalik ako. So, guys, ito na po yung kinalabasan ng gawa natin. So, maganda naman siya. Kita niyo yung smoothness ng skin ko, right? So, yun lang. Hope you guys learn something. So, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscription button and tap the notification down below so you will be notified on my next one. Bye! Last drop! Oh, 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 oh,